G'day guys, just a short update. Um, we did put a little notice out um, that yes, we woke up to a substantial flood out the front. Kind of expected. Um, around the area, we most areas got over 100 mil, um, mainly around that 120 to 150 mil, fairly widespread. Um, so yeah, we're in for a we're in for a doozy. But uh, I thought I would just show you. Um, some might remember. I uh, was it March in March last year um, we had a flood go through um, this is the same spot um, this is just the backyard of my house um, so yeah it's just in the backyard a bit um, our house is a little bit off the ground so um, yeah a meter or so so it should be okay but the problem is is that this is just local water and it's uh, got pretty much the same height as what it did on the last flood which was from a creek that busted its banks just a few kilometers down um, probably in the next half an hour we're expecting all that water from that creek to come it hasn't reached here yet we're not sure how it's going to affect um, whether it'll lift it up much or whether it'll yeah we, we just don't know um, we're hoping that it doesn't go up too much higher we've got um, the machinery shed here because um, it's uh, actually just lapping at the cement on that so it's uh, it's pretty close but anyway we're just holding holding on we've lifted up what we can and yeah realizing that there's a lot others a lot of other people in Australia that are absolutely doing it tough with water through houses and stuff um, yeah we're, we're feeling for the guys dealing with that um, but hopefully a lot of crops are still green so that will hopefully mean that they sh they will recover somewhat um, it's just a matter of getting on the on the land to actually do something about it when it does ripen up that'll be the issue um, but anyway just a quick update I'll um, we'll see what it does in the next hour or so and we'll soon know whether we're um, yeah we've got to go to high ground or what we do there isn't much high ground around here but um, yeah we'll have to just wait and see the other thing actually I nearly forgot is there is a lot more rain forecast so we here have had um, about, I think it's about 200, a bit over 200 mils in the last um, couple of days. And yeah, that is gonna continue. Um, we could get another 100 mil or so in the next couple of days, which as you can see, everything's just absolutely saturated, swamped. So that is gonna only go one way and that's downhill. So we are holding on tight. it's um, been a hectic day and a lot more water's come than we anticipated so this is I'm standing at my house that's where I was this morning and that's our backyard all about a foot underwater um, yeah I don't really know what else to say we hope it stops rising soon hello right, guys this is the last time we're probably going to see the house before whatever happens happens so we're um yeah just waiting to get evacuated i think they're talking a bit more coming and we've only got three steps so just with little kids we're 
we're gonna head off. Guys, it's the next morning. Um, we're still at the place we evacuated to. There was some family not too far away, um, and we're able to drive through some of the water to get here. Um, yeah, just following the SES, which is the State Emergency Service. Um, so yeah, we all are all good and safe. We've got some. It could have been worse kind of news. So it didn't get get into my house, um, but um, my sister's house, which is just nearby, um, got into a, a part of that. Um, and yeah, all through the sheds. I think it was halfway up the forklift. Um, yeah, so there's quite there's going to be quite a bit of damage. Um, we also, uh, yeah, and it went all through our, our personal sheds and things like that. Um, but in all of this, we're very thankful because it could have been a lot worse. There is still a bit more water possibly coming. So we're just got to still just keep things crossed a little bit. But um, yeah, we're very thankful that it wasn't worse, um, but it was way way more than what anyone's ever seen or predicted or thought possible so um yeah that just goes to show you just can't be too too sure about things um that's how it is and um yeah i think we'll that it's just a bit of a different video today obviously um i haven't had a chance to edit a normal video um but yeah this is just a update and to yeah just show what's sort of going on a bit well we're back here having a bit of a look um it is down a lot but it's still up sort of near where it, it is when it's a bad flood so we're just hoping there was a bit more rain in the catchment last night so we're really hoping it doesn't come any oh yeah we don't get any more coming through or much at least um but yes she was up you can see up there yeah halfway up the forklift there just, just covering the front wheels of the forklift. Um, we did lift quite a bit up of the stuff that was valuable, that mower there, it, it's fine. Um, but yeah, there is a fair bit of rubbish and things lying about. Um, yeah, so. I think the truck and everything, I think it just went over the axles of the truck there by the looks of it. Um, the Kubota, it is, oh yeah, it looks like it, it was just on the chassis there, the Kubota, so it didn't get into the cab, so that should be okay. Little truck here, yeah, it might have to drain some fluids on that. Well guys, the water's gone down substantial, but it is still a pretty substantial flood um, but not in comparison to what we just experienced um, I'm just not too game to drive off the main sort of bit of a road here because 
it'll sink down pretty quick, I think. But this little block here, um, where my house is, is uh, it's about 250 hec uh, 50 acres, so about 100 hectares. And I reckon 99%, if not 100% of it was underwater. So there's a bit of wheat there that hasn't, wouldn't the heads wouldn't have gone underwater, but there's gonna be a lot that's knocked down. Um, but that's gonna be a, the story for a lot of people. If it, if it hasn't cut right out, um, like if it, in some places it would have cut all the, um, the soil away and erosion and all of that, just with the nature of the fall. Um, but yeah, anyway, just hoping that, hoping that, uh, yeah, everyone stays safe thinking of the ones that are doing it much tougher.